All right. So I realized that a lot of us either only see me in the gym or my remote clients don't ever see me outside of video. So you're like, are you an actual person? Do you live a real life? What do you do? What do you eat? All that good stuff. So I kind of wanted to do a little day in the life type thing. So you can kind of get a better understanding of how I do things. So I'm normally up before this, but get a little sleeping in. Why not? So we're going to start off by walking the dog and getting some coffee. That's the most important part of the day. So, bus usually comes to my building around, you know, 8.45-ish, so coffee machine is generally the hot topic, hot spot for congregation and whatnot, but I was able to, you know, just grab my coffee, get it rolling. The reason why I like to um, get coffee and, you know, walk the dog right away is obviously the dog needs to go out, but also it just gets me rolling sooner, um, gets me doing my thing. Especially when I get up at 4.30, that's, you know, something that really helps get me rolling is just get up, get moving, get going. So now that we're back at home, we're going to uh, go over what I eat typically for breakfast. But first, the dog's gotta eat. All right, so here's what we got cooking up for breakfast. We're gonna go a little bit of almond milk, two scoops of protein. We're gonna do some peanut butter. Got some hummus for the lavash bread. Got some tofu in here that's left over. Whole avocado. Then I got a black bean burger ready to rock in here. Mm. And also, we're gonna do a little bit of beans. Yeah, so all that together is about 1900 calories. And it's 40% carbs, 30% fat, 30% protein. So, a couple things. When I say 30% fat, 30% protein, 40% carbs. I'm talking about that's the percentage of my total calorie intake. Um, also, I'm not mixing all this together at once. Cause I was like, yeah, peanut butter, beans. And I feel like someone's gonna be like, yo, what are you doing with all that? So here's how I eat it. I could just kind of chop off the black bean burger, put it in with the other beans, put the avocado in there, mix in the tofu, just kind of dip the lavash bread in. And then while I'm sipping on my coffee slash protein I'll um, do a couple scoops of peanut butter in between and yeah so I'm gonna eat and then we'll check back in okay all done stuff in my face so now I'm gonna do a little bit of work email um, some video editing some social media post stuff so we're just gonna speed up through this part cool Okay, so now that we're done with a little bit of, you know, remote client programming, some work email stuff, we're gonna go hit the gym in my apartment building, which is pretty nice. I think I'm doing back biceps and a little bit of hamstrings today. So we're gonna head on down there and get a workout in. There are a few things I take with me to the gym. Water bottle with water. Today I got a little bit of creatine in there to help keep me nice and hydrated. I'm gonna bring some straps with me to help me hang on to some of these pull-up bars and cable machines a little bit more. And I'm training back today, so I got the weight vest out here, ready to rock. So 
so the cleaning crew was in the gym so I couldn't really record because they were running the vacuum but here's how I load up my 20 pound vest to be a little bit heavier I just kind of undo the velcro there and I just stuff another five pound plate in um, right now I'm doing a five pound plate on each end so front and back so that way I'm at 30 pounds for when we get to these pull-ups here because I'm trying to increase that back strength to get a little better at my pulling motions. So this is what I brought the straps for because I feel like when I don't have to worry so much about holding on to the bar and utilizing my grip, I can get a better mind muscle connection to my lats and kind of initiating everything from the back rather than just pulling at the arm. So it takes a little bit of getting used to and a little, a little setup time, but I think it's worth it in the end. And it's great that the pull-up bar that we have at my gym is just tall enough that I can just kind of bend my knee and be able to get it rolling, but I can still reach when fully stood. So here you can see me struggle bussing those last few reps. Okay, so we're back from the gym. It was like about an hour-ish. Done with the workout, gonna shower up and get ready to go to the other gym, my work gym. Um, if you guys enjoyed this and you want to see kind of like more of what the day looks like, I'm going to keep on filming, but I'm not going to put out um, that second half of the day just yet. So if you want to see a part two, let me know or give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever. And I will see y'all when I see y'all.